Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome back to another episode of Yakuza Zero. All right, we are currently Goro Majima. Whoa, that is a outfit, buddy. Did you guys see the purple guy? Oh, what happened to you, buddy? Ooh, ah, what the? What's with this creeper? Stadium jumper strut. Hey you, this is a no napping zone. Why don't you get up and move along? Ugh, I'm hurt. Did this guy get a shot kicked out of him? He's in so much pain he can't even talk. Uh, give him medicine. What am I gonna hand over? Uh, health boost. Do we wanna give him this one? Yeah, sure. Here you go, pal. Drink this. Ugh, uh? Go, go. I like the uh, imagery. You all right? Hi. Yeah, I'm feeling much better now. Thank you. Want to tell me what happened? Why'd you get laid out? It's because I was chasing a dream. Here we go. What's this about a dream? It's my dream to boldly walk across Iwao Bridge. Oh, right. A grand old dream like walking across this bridge sure does explain why you got beat to an inch of your life. Except not really. Huh? I mean, come on. Would you take more than a minute or two to just stroll right across the bridge? But it's not that simple. And why is that? <sighs> it's because of this stagium I'm wearing. Sta what? Hmm? Oh, no. You don't know what a stagium is? It's terrible. You're not with the times at all. So not cool. Stadion, or stadion, is short for stadium junk jumper. It's a jacket worn by athletes at stadiums so they stay warm and limber. Overseas, they call these varsity jackets, but here in Japan, it's stadium all the way. Neat, but why in the world would wearing a stadion make it so you couldn't get across Iwao Bridge? <sighs> well, you put on a jacket like this and you pop the collar and suddenly everyone thinks you're some kind of big shot. All the punks all the punks come charging out looking for blood. Maybe if the jacket didn't say, bring on the fights. I've tried crossing eight times now, but every time, goons show up and beat the crap out of me before I make it. That's certainly a unique problem, but there's gotta be other dudes wearing jackets like that, right? They aren't all getting mauled by the riffraff. Right, I can't explain it, but when I do, I get so much heat. Does my face piss people off? Maybe. Or is it just my destiny? Destiny's an asshole, if that's the case. But all right, at least I get why you're bleeding out of the pavement here. E out on the pavement here. Yeah. So here's a novel idea. Maybe take off the stage, um. Seems to me that's the source of all your woes. But that defeats the purpose. I love this stage, in. That wouldn't bl You wouldn't believe how much trouble I went through to get this sweet jacket. I want to wear it loud and proud. That's... That's my dream. <sighs> well, it's a free country. But I'd wager you'd got another beating coming down the pipe if you go through with it. <sighs> That's what complicates things. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. How rude of me. My name's Suda. Suda-chan, huh? I'm Majima. Majima-san, if you don't mind me saying, you look like a man who can wade into brawls and walk away with a hair out of place. Well, I've got a hair tie, but yeah, I can hold my own. Majima-san, I'm sorry if this sounds wimpy, wimpy, but do you think you could help me make my dream come true? Huh? What do you mean? I know it's probably an, an imposition, but do you think you could fend off those goons while I strut proudly across Iwao Bridge? <sighs> You're not kidding about being an imposition. I'm sorry, but without the help of a guy like you, my dream will be forever un unfulfilled. I'll have a lifetime of regret. Please, Majima-san, please help me realize my dream. Uh, yeah. Oh, all right, fine, I'll help you. <gasps> you really do this? You mean it? I mean, I know I asked, but I didn't expect to meet a person kind enough to get into a fist fight for me. Yeah, story of my life. But you're serious about this stage and drawing out goons like flies on rotten fruit? Hi. Oh, yeah, totally. Just watch. Oh, don't do it, buddy. We believe you. <laughs> hmm? Hey, you. You think you're hot shit in that jacket? You trying to start something? Huh? See? Yeah, I see it. 
can't tell if it's the stage in or you that's drawing the, all this aggro, though. Okay, I'm going to strut proudly down this bridge. Please keep me safe. Enjoy your stroll, bud. These punks are going to pay the toll to the troll. Majima, I love you. All right, let's try and let's try and help this guy. Is it better we take a bat with us? Ugh. Uh, I like this style better. Alright. Oh, I don't think we're gonna make it. Oh my god. All right, let's, we're gonna have to try this one again. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Holy crap, man. I think, I think it was also because I was in my other style. I got close. Next time, maybe. Sure, you're one persistent bastard, huh? I sure am. I'm ready to try whenever you are. Sure. Hmm, that's my pager. Uh, six five eight one zero and twenty nine make dragon tiger equipment. Something must have come in. Looks like Fei Hu's back from the equipment search. I wonder what he's found. I gotta swing by the dragon and tiger. We'll do it after, though. This guy. Are you... Huh? I was gonna say. The hell is that? I don't recall there being a statue there. This is not just a statue. Well, here's a well-made statue. What's it doing in a place like this, though? <laughs> Majima-san. Pretty amazing detail, too. I wonder what they make this stuff out of. Ah! Huh? Am I hearing voices now? Hey, whatever. The statue... Uh, this statue, though, sure looks lifelike. Doesn't feel like plaster at all. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell, man? You're alive? <sighs> hey, no, buddy. That tickled. No touching, please. Think of my act like a classy strip club. You can look, but you got to keep your hands off the performer. Performer? That's what I am. A street performer. I go by the name of Tokokichi. What I'm doing now is performance art. I'm playing the part of a statue, as you can see. Okay, I get it, the picture. You're really good. I thought you were actually a statue. But why are you doing this here? Oh, didn't you know? This area is a holy land for buskers. Holy land? The hell? Heaven, not hell. And the heavy foot traffic means we get very steady audience. And the locals here love a good comedy bit, so they have a great eye for quality. It's my lucky spot. Well, I guess if you put it that way, this bridge does have its benefits. So you're practicing your act? Yeah. That would be a fair description. Ultimately, I hope to be a street performer who inspires little kids to dream big. I think street performers are entertainment that anyone can enjoy, from kids who just learn to speak to the elderly forgetting words. I want to make people smile. That's a great dream. Good on ya. Well, I wish you the best, and I'll be moving on. Sorry to disturb you. Oh no, it's fine. See you. There's a guy who's got a dream worth dreaming. Hope he makes it big. Maybe I'll check back later to see how he's getting on. All right, let's help this guy. Yeah, let's try this again. I think we're gonna have to try this one again later because it seems like I don't have enough power behind me, which is kinda crappy. <laughs> But yeah, I do not have I do not have the uh, abilities to to get through them. Probably the other ability would be best. Let's go back to the tiger. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> managed to sneak into the store despite suspicious looks from the shoppers. We visited an old rundown shopping district near Sotenbori. Caught in the crossfire, supplier foes launched a surprise attack. Resounding success, mission went even better than hoped. Nice, we got a metal bat, a dagger, and some steel, lead, iron, lead ingot, and iron. I'm not a professional agent, but next time we will call one of the agents in our network, and we'll continue looking for more agents as well. I hope to expand our network and help get better information on powerful equipment and acquire more resourceful agents. As you might imagine, the more valuable the equipment, the harder it is to get it. Makes sense, I guess. If you got a one-of-a-kind weapon, you ain't gonna want to sell it to some agent guy. In those cases, the agent can bring back recipes with information on how to create a replica. I can then recreate the item in my workshop. But you need parts for that, so get parts. We have some spare ones here. You can have them for free, you lucky man. Lead ingots. Yay. Nice. Whoa, timber. Did it just say cursed handcuffs? Regular shops too. Look around. Shofuku. You bring parts, we make equipment. You bring money too, otherwise we know eat. I can craft or sell you more than more of any equipment you already obtained in the past. Getting just a recipe without ever having the item made doesn't count, wow. though. Got it. I send agents off to find recipes and parts for you and to make me awesome weapons and protective gear. Sounds good. I gotta start saving up so I can afford mm. that. Wait. Fei who? Eggs. Where are eggs? Oh, I'm sorry. I was so busy with the equipment search that I forgot about the shopping. Again. <sighs> Ah, uh, Majima-san. It will take some time to make preparations for a more substantial equipment search. Huh. Sure, take your time. I'll find something to do and come back later. Good luck with the prep. Wonder how Feihu and Long Hoa are doing. I'll drop in to see them later. So what do we have for equipment? Alright, brand new dagger doesn't have a single notch on it and looks easy to wield. Can we go back in them? Once you become a more once you become more familiar with weapons, Majima san, I will teach you new ways to wield yeah. them. That's really gonna be necessary. Ain't got to be a genius to work out which way to the pointy yeah. end. Consider it part of my service. It would be a shame to leave the full power of the weapons you obtain from me untapped. Yeah. I'm just saying, I got my own way of doing things, but hey, if you're gonna go through the trouble, I'll hear you out. I would also recommend that you work at honing your bat skills. There's a wealth of hidden potential there. You think so? I don't know. Kind of figured the bat meat's head was pretty much the extent of it. Yeah. No, you have much to learn. By my estimation, your bat technique could prove more deadly than even sword play if you develop it. More deadly than a sword? You serious? Quite. The bat and the katana are alike in length. They say some baseball players purchase a katana and practice their swings with them to heighten their focus. But considered as a, another class of weapon, the bat's weight resting up at the far tip yields exceptional destructive power, making it distinctly different from a blade. <sighs> yeah, they're obviously two different things, but the principle's not so far off, right? Yeah. I'm telling you, there are techniques you could perform with the bat that simply wouldn't be possible using other weapons. I suggest you work on uncovering these. <laughs> huh. You're making a big deal out of this, but a bat's a bat if you ask me. You just gotta whack people with it. This is truly groundbreaking technique. I will teach you new weapon skills you, as you progress, but I ask that you show me your bat fighting skills in return. I'll show you anything you want, but I ain't exactly the professor type. Yeah. Hey, I got an idea. Yeah. What's that? When you teach me a new weapon move, how about you take me on with that weapon? I'll fight you, fight you back with a bat. Mm. It would be difficult for you to pick up new techniques that way, I fear. I believe it is better to begin by learning the proper stance and forms. Watch, you gonna make me a pro baller starting to play catch? We ain't exactly amateurs here. I'd rather get a feel for a weapon naturally, in a fight. I see. I suppose that method may be better suited to you. <laughs> I've been looking forward to going another round with you anyway. This should be fun. Ha! Huh. Perhaps that is truly is your true motive. Well, I will be here when you are ready to continue your training. 
What do you have to say? What do you need? Let's go on an equipment search. Ooh, North America offers a wide range of locations ranging from the cold north to the jungles of Central America. Ah, cool. Let's try Inuit Village. We've got a traveling entertainer, an athlete, and an ex-mafia. Let's try this guy. Oh, we don't care about that. What do you want? Oh, you can repair things. All right, out we go. To learn more weapon techniques from Fai Hu, you must upgrade your slugger style abilities under abilities, of course. I look forward to seeing your results of your training. Okay. So I guess that's what I gotta do next. What is around here? Ooh. Arcade. Huh? What's that girl doing by herself? She lost? The doll girl. Hey, kiddo, where's your mom? Are you lost? Oh, man. You are scary to her, Majima. No, I'm not. What's wrong, kiddo? No? Then what you standing around all by yourself for, huh? No reason. What's with this kid? She doing it right not talking to strangers, but it's dangerous here. Better send her packing. Listen, why don't you hightail it back to your mom instead of loafing around here? This ain't no place for kids. Okay. Off with you then, you little scamp. Kind of looked like she had something to say. Still, she ain't lost and ought to make it home okay. Just hope there's no troublemakers looking about. Hmm. We're gonna have to check on her. Mm -hmm. Alright, staff, thank you. Let's see, what's in our claw thing? All right, well, we were entertaining ourselves in there. We, uh, I guess, started a quest. We started two quests. Friendship with Kyoto and this crude man. Ooh, check it out, a little kid all by her lonesome. This is gross. Hey, she ain't old enough to hustle. Keep your eyes peeled, would ya? <sighs> no, fool, grab the kid, shake down the parents. Easy come, easy go. Pretty smart, could be a nice cash in that. Let's do it. Oh, come on. Gah, <sighs> <sighs> here we go. Got something real nice for you, little girl. Come over here. Don't wanna. Huh? Shh, little fucking brat. You come in one way or the other. Mmm, no, leave me alone. See? What did I tell ya? Who the hell are you? Her old man? Nobody special. Just looking out for a stranger. Huh? Stranger? Then mind your own business. Don't go getting any ideas, or we'll make sure you regret it. Next time you ought to take my advice and head straight home, kiddo. This is a dangerous town full of scumbags. Uh. Scumbags? Nobody calls me scum. All right, let's uh, let's try this one. Whoa. 
that bad is nice. I quite like that. <sighs> Look, we're sorry. Give me a break. You're about to just abduct a little kid. Good for nothing, Hello. losers. Thanks, sir. Sir, I'm only 24, you know? <sighs> anyway, as I was saying, why don't you head home? Okay. Something wrong? You and your mom fighting? No. Then what's up? Come on, kid, let us know. The doll. Huh? The red chestnut, the squirrel. Chestnut, the squirrel? You mean that red squirrel prize in the UFO catcher? Yeah. You want that? Yeah. I'm sure your dad'll buy you one if he asks nice. What? Don't have a dad. Oh, sorry, scamp. Oh, it's okay. I'm fine. Still, no point in hanging around here. You can't get it yourself, can ya? It's okay. I don't need it. But it's just so cute. I'd like to look at it. Yeah? You're a strange kid. All right. I gotta get going. Okay. All right, you gotta know the doll girl. Interacting with her will gradually fill the friendship gauge. You can check on the status of the gauge at any time in the pause menu. Build a friendship with her and see what happens. A red chestnut, the squirrel doll, huh? Can't have her standing out here all day. So if I grab one, maybe it'll, I'll give it to her. All right, we'll go in there and give her one. Luckily, I don't all out. So this is Kyoto, and we've got a friendship with her as well. Let's see if there's a chestnut in here. Ah, uh, there is too. All right, let's do this. Silly kid. Let's maybe get this on the first try if we can. This will hopefully make the kid happy. Ah, cheated, cheated. Let's try that again. All right, Mr. Chestnut, you are coming with us. No ifs, ands, or buts. No! Oh, this is gonna be tough. You're in a bad place, man. Okay, one more time on this one, and then it, maybe we'll have to ask them to switch it up a bit. All right, let's not go so far this time. Can she do it? Oh, no! Okay, again. You just sitting there looking at us. Well, you have looked your last, Mr. Squirrel. I don't know if that makes that easier or harder. All right, let's try this again. If not, we might have to ask them to switch it up a bit. Because he is in a very tough position now. Oh. Whoa! Don't you dare fall. We got both of them. <laughs> nice. All right, well, we got her the chestnut squirrel and a frilled neck lizard. Let's go give it back to her. I wonder if we can talk. I guess, I guess uh, her friendship only increases with high scores. Typical girl hanging out in arcades. Okay. All right, you little one. You still staring at Chestnut the Squirrel Doll? Oh yeah, I am. I have one of those red Chestnut the Squirrel Dolls now. Maybe I ought to give it to her. Definitely. Here. You handed over the squirrel. Wow, it's a red Chestnut the Squirrel. It's adorable. Yeah? Well, it ain't exactly my thing, so why don't you keep it? Really? Thanks, sir. I never got a present from anyone beside my mom before. Best day ever. Is that so? Well, glad you like it. Now will you get on home? <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna tell my mom about it. Thanks, sir. Bye. Boy, that little scamp's a handful, but it feels kind of nice to make her day like that. Aw, oh, Majima. Aw, you big softie. 
Well, guess what? Doll Girl asked for a blue chestnut the squirrel this time around, so that is what we are doing. Oh no! No! Let's try it once more. Oh, they're giving it to us. Nice. All right, let's get this star star headed thing back to back to her. All right, kid. Time to go home. You still staring at that chestnut the squirrel doll? Yeah, I am. I have one of those blue chestnut the squirrel dolls now. Maybe I ought to give it to her. Yeah, let's give it to her. Look, here's a blue chestnut the squirrel. You handed it over. Wow, it's a blue chestnut the squirrel. You take care of him. Squirrels aren't my thing. Really? I can't believe it. Everyone's gonna be so jealous when I show him at school tomorrow. Jealous of that little thing? Yeah. The other kids always talk about their daddies buying them dolls, and they show them to each other. I get left out whenever that happens, but now we'll have something to talk about. I'm glad for you, scamp, but I ain't your daddy. Mmm, I wouldn't really know, but da don't daddies buy things for kids? I suppose it depends, but that's a dad thing, yeah. I knew it! So if I did, ha did have a daddy, then he'd be kind of like you, right? Huh? How'd you figure? Because you gave me two dolls. Uh, I did, but see? And you look old enough to be a daddy, so you're just like a daddy to me. How old's, how old's this kid think I am? I wish you could be my real daddy, sir. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know that ain't gonna happen, right? Well, can I just call you daddy then? Say what? Oh, you don't want me to. My choices are sir or daddy, huh? Ain't too fond of either. But what's the right play here? Um, Majima-san, I think. You gotta show respect to your elders. How about using my proper name, Majima-san? Majima-san? Yeah. That's better. Bah, now I went and hurt her feelings. Why is this gotta be so damn hard? <sighs> Call me whatever you want, I don't care. Really? Yay, I like daddy best. I'm getting some mixed feelings here, kiddo. You best get back to your mom. <clears throat> okay, bye daddy. You take care on the way home. Oh my god, kid. And what do you want to know? She's asking for a pink bunch of this time, so we're gonna get it to her. That kid is just milking us dry for these UFO machine games. I wonder why they're called UFO machines. Alright, pink bunch of, you're coming with us. Oh, right on the money. Ba ding All right, buncha. We're out of here. What? You still staring at the bunch end though? Huh? Yeah, I am. I have one of those pink bunch of dolls now. Bunchen. Maybe I ought to give it to her. Let's give it to her, obviously. Here you go. A bouncy little bunchen. You handed over the bunchen, the Java Sparrow. Pink. Wow, a real pink bunchen. Thank you so much. Say, how come you like the dolls so much? Oh, I'm just all alone when I'm here home. Having my squirrels around feels like I have friends over. That's why dolls are the best. <laughs> yeah? That's nice. <laughs> Uh, and the bunch and now gets to join the family. Thanks for everything, Daddy. I'm going to take such good care of them. Yeah, yeah. Now off you go. Back to your mom. Okay. Bye-bye. Maybe now the tea party is complete. No reason for her to, her to hang around here anymore, I hope. I hope as well. Ooh, our friendship meter's getting higher with the poor little girl.
We'll see where she is next. Sob sniffle. Huh? What the? It's that doll girl bawling her eyes out. Ah! What's the matter, scamp? Hmm? Oh. I think a dog got at it. What's this? The doll I gave you is messed up. Who did this? I want names. My mom. My mom. My mom's gonna get killed. What? The scary man who came back... The scary man who t came to take money showed up, but this time they took her away. And they did this to your doll, huh? Do you have any idea where they took your mom? Down by the river, I think. All right, come on, kiddo. We gotta bust a move. You're gonna take the kid with you, Majima? I don't know if the kid should be seeing you brawling. Stop it, I already paid you back everything I borrowed. What are you talking about, you dozy cow? We lent you a million yen, N, remember? But I paid it all back by the due date. <gasps> are you really that dense? You ain't paid a drop of the interest yet. <laughs> by my calculations, that's about 13 mil million N left to pay, and we want it back now. 13 million, I could never. <sighs> yeah, guess you leave us no choice then. Oh God, you're young enough still. Sure earn us plenty of cash out on the street. No. And I know plenty of sickos who'd pay top dollar for the little kid you got. What? You can't. Those are the terms of the deal. You work for us until every last N is paid back. Got it? Your brat's gonna fetch a pretty price too. <laughs> Probably bring in more than you would. God, these guys are sick. Leave her alone. My daughter. She's the only family I have left. Please, at least spare her. Please. Hey, get her out of here. The kid would be out front of that arcade as usual. I'll go scoop her up. Gotcha. Oh, no need for that. Huh? And who are you? You ain't here to give us lip about the way we do business, are ya? Hmm? Yeah. I don't give a flying shit about your business. You can do whatever the hell you want. Then you're smarter than you look. How about you leave the kid and scram then? Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. See, there's two types of people in the world that really set me off. Huh? huh? Dipshits who tear up dolls that I went through a lot of trouble to get a hold of, and fuckwits who prey on defenseless women because it makes them feel big. You fit both those bills, uh. asshole. What? You motherfucker. Uh. Shh. You got a screw loose, you skinny runt? Because you're begging to get your <sighs> neck broke. Shut your mouths and put your fists up so I can hurry up and beat the shit out of you. Isn't too bad. Hey, I ain't done with you yet. I still gotta tear you up as badly as you tore up that poor doll. Ah! Have mercy. Ah, oh, come on. I was just getting to the fun part. Daddy! Hey, you alright? Dad? <sighs> yeah, this is the man who bought me all the dolls, Mommy. I call him Daddy. Oh, so that was you. My daughter talks about you all the time. Uh, I don't suppose I could ask your name? Sure, it's Majima. Majima-san, you've done so much for us. I don't know how to thank you. It was nothing, really. This is a little token of my appreciation. Please accept it. Security wallet. Appreciate it, lady. Daddy, I'm sorry. Huh? What's wrong, scamp? I told you I'd take good care of the dolls, but... Please don't be mad at me. Why would I be mad at you? It ain't your fault. Don't even sweat it. But... Listen. Even with its eye coming off and it cuts all over it, it ain't like it's dead. Its heart's still beating. I can feel it. Really? Yeah. Heck, I'm living proof, ain't I? Take a look. One eye's gone, but I'm doing just <laughs> fine. Ahahaha, <laughs> you're right. When Bunchen got messed up, you didn't throw it away, right? You're still clutching it close. It looks pretty happy about that, if you ask me. Really? I'm going to fix him up and keep him safe then. Yeah, you do that. I better get going. Thank you for everything, Majima-san. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, yeah. 
It's got a nice ring to it. I guess that is all, all the friendship for that one. All right, my lovelies. Whoa. Who's calling to us? Ugh. Not you. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are a pussy, I know. We will continue this next time. What kind of money do we have on us? Nothing much. We'll just use it for some slugging. And I will see you on the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. See you soon.